downtown Hollywood. A couple of teams out here have been handing out flyers. I haven't really recorded anything much because um, just focus on talking with people. And I don't like to approach people to, for a conversation and flyers with recording. But I've been going places of business and just handing things up. I want to show you guys this Publix. This amazing Publix they built over here. I didn't even know they were building it here. And they have this new building here too. It's early right now, so there's not that many people out here. But uh, the assignment I was given was that I grouped up with a couple of people and they gave us these nice flyers. Spanish and English. And we've been handing it out. And so, that's what we're doing out here today. Trying to get the word out. So I'll get back to you guys. We're here with the, this is our group right here. What's kind of nice to see is that uh, there's a lot of flyers out in the businesses. There's some places that are really nice. Appreciate that. We got Cricket. There's this, uh, let's see. Oh, I should capture this. Another place here. And the new flyers are really nice, I have to say. Papa John's is really nice too. They had an old flyer in there. And so I walked in with my team member, put a new one. Papa John's. Another business, FedEx. Oh, sorry. And further down downtown Hollywood, I saw some other places too. So that's nice. I just met a, a lady. She was a child from Venezuela. I guess you could tell because of the last name. I think I lost my team. The concept of team for me is kind of foreign, but it is nice to have people and be on a team. But I've always been a wanderer. And I'm that person that uh, will leave the group, show up the next day somewhere else. This is the Publix, one of the meeting areas. Huge. I didn't know this was here. The Publix. So uh, I'm gonna link up back with the group if I can find them. I spoke to a couple of people, really caring people. The people here in the bus, they took the flyer. I spoke to a lady, she was very kind and nice. You know, it's kind of crazy that uh, we're walking here, but Kara sent me an article, a story the other day about a woman. This was a couple of years back that was jogging. It's right here. This is the golf area. Woman was jogging and somebody tried to kidnap her, abduct her, tried to pull her. Well, he got out the car, chased her, and she ran for her life. One of these roads out here. Pretty wild. Hey, it's Mel. How you guys doing? And I just wanted to pop in for a couple of minutes just to first say it was really nice meeting the group that I was out with today and all the people that I spoke to. Uh, it's been um, just interesting talking with people and hearing their experiences and just even being out with the group. Now, with regards to Summer, which is Naomi's uh, friend that she was Snapchatting, she messaged me again just to clarify some stuff. And so I'm going to recap on what she told me the events were with the Snapchat stuff. And I just want to put it out there so it's clear. So let me just start with the original message, the one that I was telling you last night on the live stream about, and then I'm going to get you the clarification uh, message also. So I asked her, does she know exactly where in Ann Kolb uh, Naomi was? And so she said, I f unfortunately, I don't. I didn't even know she was specifically at Ann Kolb at the time. She only told me that she was at a wildlife park, but she did send me a picture of a river. She said it reminded her of the Tenton River back in Idaho. And this river, I guess it had a bird 
in the water with the trees and the tree roots in the water in the background and a picture of the city in the background but it looked like she was on ground level it's been going around that she sent me a pic of her on the watchtower but i never got a pic like that and she also said sorry that she's not terribly specific but that was all that she sent uh and so i asked her about did she have the pictures and she doesn't because it's snapchat and it was deleted the other thing too was that um what did i asked her because there was a comment that she left on one of my videos and she mentioned that uh she didn't take a picture on the top of the tower but she knows that they were at Ann Cole because of other indicators. And so I asked her in the DM, what does she mean by other indicators? And does she really know that Naomi was actually at Ann Cole Nature Center? She said, I didn't know when she was Snapchatting me, but we figured out because her phone was pinged near there and she took the city bus there and her parents said she went there often. So that's what they used to deduce that she was at that park. Now the more recent message after the live stream, she sent me a couple more clarifications to be clear on things. Uh, first of all, the first Snapchat she sent me was of her on the bus. It was a selfie and she had a white mask on. She was making a joke about the bus. Then there were a few more bus pictures before she sent me pictures of the nature park. Now you mentioned in your video that you should look at other parks and i totally agree this is what she's saying i worry that people are searching at ann kolb when it might not even be the place she was at so that's really important to know i was really worried about that the first couple of days because people were just saying it's the park she was at without any other options and there's a lot of parks in the area and there is a lot of parks like where the phone was pinging and stuff like that here's another message that she sent me and she said another thing i think it's important to mention that Nomi leaving the house with just her phone is actually pretty normal behavior. When we were roommates in Idaho, she went on walks to explore. She would only take her phone with her. Even when we went out to eat, she bring her phone and just put her credit card in her jacket pocket. She didn't really wear purses or bags. And when she did, it was for specific purposes, not just going out on walks. So one more final note that really puts everything together with summer's messages and now Hollywood police releasing Naomi's picture of her being on the bus and she was alone. And so there's a couple of articles that came out. I'll put the picture up for you while I read this article. Police released a surveillance photo taken that day showing Boulevard getting on the bus at the 7,000 block of Sheridan street. And in the photo, she's seen wearing a black and white shirt along with denim shorts teal sneakers, black sunglasses, and a facial mask. Police say she later got off the bus alone in the 800 block of Sheridan Street. Wednesday, police searched the wooded area at Ancold Nature Center in connection with Boulevard's disappearance. Family and friends say that Boulevard left to take a walk at the Nature Center, texting her roommate of a photo from there. So let's do this. I know I pulled up the map so many times with you guys, but so police say Boulevard was seen entering the bus at the 7,000 block of Sheridan Street, February 11th. And so let's pull up the map real quick. Uh, 7,000 and Sheridan would be down here, okay? Now, looking at the timeline that we were given um, at 4.20 p.m., she left at 4, 4.20 p.m., the Google account slash location history places last cell phone location at 70th Ave and Scott Street, Hollywood. This was at 4.20 p.m. Scott Street is right here, which is pretty close. I'm assuming she probably lives somewhere in this area. And the other thing too, the whole public situation, there's a Publix right here. People are wondering about the Publix and tap. Publix is right there. And so she takes the bus from here and they say the 800 block of Sheridan Street, which on bus, it stays here 48 minutes. So we go all the way down here, east. And uh, here's the 800 block. Now, I would like to know specifically, just curious, what exact bus stop she got off at because was it this one here by Ankle Nature Center? You know, her family says she likes to go to Ankle Nature Center. Or did she take the bus down further and go in this area, which is I watched the video from last night, Ocean Drive, this whole area. This is Ocean Drive down here. The ping went all the way down south and then up north. Uh, and so anything could have happened at any moment and anybody could have taken her cell phone or anything at any moment. You know, I was focusing and a lot of people were focusing at the Ann Kolb Nature Center, which makes sense 
but we don't know for sure that those pictures were taken there. There's a lot of areas around here you could have taken a picture at. So police search Ann Kolb, uh, and I well they say they searched Ann Kolb, but we saw them here at Westlake, and I've walked Ann Kolb, and we found the encampment around here somewhere or here. Uh, and then when I was with the private investigator, we searched this entire trail and then we went down here we crossed over and went into this path here and then we crossed back and went over here too and i showed you this um this rock area too what that looks like and with the larry situation which we spoke about on the live stream i'll just briefly touch on it now the time that he says doesn't really make too much sense unless he had the wrong time Maybe he was wrong about the time, or maybe he thought he saw her and he didn't really see her, or maybe he mistook her for somebody else. The, article, the clip here that was put in the Bring Home Nomi group, she sent pictures to her friends from the park. We know she made it safely there, which we know for sure now. We don't know if she was actually at that park. Larry, who did not disclose his last name, said he believes he saw a 21-year-old at the Nature Center. I was here about 4.15, 4.30, he said. I don't think she was crying or nothing. That was the last time anyone heard from her. Police said she her phone pinged a few hours later nearby Hollywood Beach, but there was no sign of her there either. When officers arrived there, it rendered negative results. Now this is the small little clip of Larry. That's all I have for now. Thank you guys for all the support on the channel and for people that are helping out and whether you're long distance or local. I've been I've met so many people just locally talking to them, having conversations and just people really concerned. And um, it's just it's kind of crazy, man. I hope that the truth comes out. I hope she's OK and um, we'll keep following the story. So, yeah. And please hit like, subscribe, turn on the bell notifications. I appreciate that. Take care of yourselves and peace.